Hey everyone, a very warm welcome to Fun Learn with Dipti. Today we are going to discuss exercise 1.2 and this is for class 9th. I have already made some other videos related to this chapter and if you want to check out those videos, I have provided the link in the description box below. Okay, now let's start the exercise. The very first question of this exercise is state whether the following statements are true or false and you have to justify your answer also okay the first statement is every irrational number is a real number so what are real numbers real number include rational number and irrational number rational number and irrational number so real number is the collection of rational number as well as irrational number so this statement is clearly true so this one is true and you can give the reason as uh, real number is the collection of rational number and irrational number okay now the next one is every point on the number line is of the form under root m where m is a natural number on number line negative integers are also there there are negative numbers so we cannot express these negative numbers as square roots so this statement is false okay now the next one is every real number is an irrational number we have already discussed that real number includes rational number as well as irrational numbers so this statement is clearly false why because a real number includes both of these means rational number also and irrational number also uh, let's take one example let's suppose we write 3 3 is a real number but is it a irrational number no it is not an irrational number so every real number is not an irrational number now moving to the next question question number two are the roots of the all positive integer irrational and if not give an example of the square root of a number that is a rational number okay so what do you think what will be the answer no no the square roots of all positive integers are not irrational like for example, they have asked an example, we will give the example. Like for example, root 4. This is a positive integer, but is it irrational? No, it is rational number. We can give more example like this. Like for example, under root 25. This is also a positive integer, but it is not an irrational number its a square root will be equals to 5 which, which is a rational number now moving to the next question show how under root 5 can be represented on the number line in this question we are going to represent root 5 on the number line but before doing this let us recall Pythagoras theorem and what was that let's take one right angle triangle a b c the longest side is called the hypotenuse and this is the perpendicular and this is the base okay so by pythagoras theorem what we know is h square is equals to p square plus b square or we can write it as h is equals to under root p square plus b square okay we are going to use this pythagoras theorem to represent under root 5 so under root 5 can be written as under root 4 plus 1 now this can be written as 
रूट टू स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर ओके सो अंडर रूट फाइव कैन बी रिटर्न एज अंडर रूट टू स्क्वायर प्लस वन स्क्वायर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रिप्रेजेंट दिस ट्राइंगल ऑन द नंबर लाइन दिस विल बी आर रूट फाइव एंड पी इज यर टू एंड बी इज वन विल टेक द सेम नेम ए बी एंड सी नाउ वी विल रिप्रेजेंट दिस ऑन द नंबर लाइन सो जीरो वन टू थ्री ओके ए सॉरी बी सी सो बी सी विल बी इक्वल्स टू वन यूनिट एंड फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट सी वी विल ड्रॉ अ परपेंडिकुलर लाइन एंड वी विल टेक सी ए एज टू यूनिट ओके नाउ विल जॉइन दीज टू ए एंड बी पॉइंट एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल्स टू रूट फाइव वी मेड दिस ट्रैंगल बट वी वॉन्ट टू रिप्रेजेंट अंडर रूट फाइव हियर ऑन द नंबर लाइन सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज वी विल टेक बी एज अ सेंटर एंड ए बी एज radius and we will draw an arc cutting on the number line and we'll mark this point okay this is under root 5 okay the value of under root 5 is near about 2.24 okay i hope this video is useful to you all If you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thanks for watching